brand new at five, selling black market prom tickets. Believe it or not, it was happening at one Gilbert High School. It's unbelievable. Police say a ring of students are accused of making fake tickets and then duping students and parents out of a lot of money. ABC 15's Joe Bartels live at Higley High School near Pecos and Higley. And Joe, what's going on with this? This is incredible. Yeah, Steffi, the marquee here says that prom is on Saturday, and while well, some students thought they could make some quick cash, but now they're in big trouble. All that glitters is gold, and these tickets promised a glamorous prom night, but these tickets aren't worth the paper they're printed on. A student in our class who said that she had friends that were not going to be going to the prom and that she had uh, tickets for sale. This mom doesn't want to be shown for fear of retaliation against her daughter at Higley High School. She says these tickets were going for 20 bucks a pop, a bargain compared to what the school was charging. But then last week, the school must have realized there was a big problem. I get an email from the school saying that all prom tickets need to be turned into the bookstore with a receipt and uh, new tickets would be handed out at that time. Gilbert police say a ring of students photocopied the tickets and sold them. This mom claims up to 80 fake tickets were sold, adding up to almost two grand. And some kids were just innocently thinking they were buying a cheaper ticket from someone that couldn't go. Gilbert police say they are aware of the scheme. They say some students bought the tickets knowing they were fake, trying to get into prom for a bargain. The school district told us via email they are aware of the ticket racket and are handling it administratively. This mom says the ticket ringleader has been suspended for nine days. Now, we are trying to get some answers from the school district, whether it's the students and parents who were duped, if they'll get their money back. We haven't heard back just yet from them. Now, the Gilbert Police Department says that if you are a victim, that you should file a police report. Back to you. All right, Joe, thank you.